Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll be reviewing the Lineage OS 14.1 that's the latest build which was released on June 9th 2017 so let's see what have been fixed and what are the changes here is my Galaxy S4 running the latest build of Lineage OS 14.1 as you can see from the lock screen everything is pretty much same so there are three toggles over here and the wallpaper also comes the same but I have changed the wallpaper here this is the user interface which is same as the previous versions we get all the standard apps which were present in older builds as you can see let me quickly show you the settings menu here is the settings menu which is also same like the previous version obviously Android Nougat let me show you the build date and the build date is 9th of June 2017 as you can see weekly so this is the weekly build everything is working perfectly fine there are no any sensor bugs or any other issues except the usual bugs like the screen mirroring ok google shared storage c linux etc is not working so those were not working in any of the versions of lineage os it remains the same here as well we hope that developer will fix that in the upcoming versions so here are the standard apps so the sound on this rom is also loud enough camera app has been improved I guess because I was getting really sharp pictures during broad daylight I guess when I compared it with the older builds so the camera app has been improved everything is same like the previous build there are no any changes made here nor any any of the apps or in any other settings I guess this thing was added in the older build which is called the no cache screen was present guys but it is not working I guess And when you long press your home button, you will get access to various wallpapers. As you can see, there are various wallpapers here. And you get a bunch of widgets. So for installation, you need first you need to flash the ROM. Then you need to flash GApps Pico version so that Google sign in will work perfectly fine. And now let's talk about some of the changes which are made in this version. Firstly, in my testing, I found that the in-call UI which had the slight echo effect in the previous versions. So in this version, it is not completely fixed, but it has been reduced. So you will not get in-call echo effect in all your calls. It will be there in occasionally. And the second thing which has added is that the updated lineage OS sources. So the developer had added the lineage OS sources which are up to date and the developer has fixed the video encoding problem so we had a problem encoding the videos in certain apps so that would not be there now you can encode any videos in any of the applications so these are the only fixes which are done in the i9500 variant in this lineage OS build so now let's talk about the battery life the battery life is excellent in this build so I guess the battery life has been improved again from the previous version so you can check it out for yourself performance remains the same it is not increased nor decreased so you might get around 40,000 plus and to do score so in my opinion you can use it as your daily driver 
the lineage OS latest build. So that's it for this video guys. If you like my video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.